Most of our electricity comes from power stations that use fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, which are made up of plant and animal matter. These are non-renewable resources of power and will eventually run out. See how different pieces of the energy puzzle fit in to reduce the greenhouse effect. Save power. It will reduce the release of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Save fuel. Petroleum is a valuable resource. Plant more trees as they absorb the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Recycle waste and reduce or eliminate use of material that cannot be recycled. Save water. It is a priority in saving the environment. So, it is important that we adapt to small changes in our daily routine to save every bit of resource possible. Do you know what a greenhouse is? A greenhouse is a house made of glass. When sunlight comes in during the day, the glass traps the heat and keeps the greenhouse warm inside, even at night. Gases in the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide, water vapor, nitrous oxide and methane act like the roof of a greenhouse. That is why they are called greenhouse gases. During the day, the earth's surface warms up in the sunlight. At night, it cools, releasing the heat back into the air. But some of the heat is trapped by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, keeping the earth warm. This process is called the greenhouse effect. Several factors have contributed over the years to bring about the crisis that we are facing today. Cutting down of trees, unrestricted use of land for cultivation, encroaching on forest land, irresponsible industrial practices, the list is endless. All this leads to increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Do you know that the temperature of the earth is constantly rising? Due to much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the air, the greenhouse effect is getting stronger and as a result, the earth is gradually getting warmer with time. This is called global warming. The earth's air, water and land are all linked to the climate and so global warming is causing other changes around the world. Glaciers and polar ice caps are melting. Sea levels are rising. There are sudden floods in places and storms are getting stronger. All of these eventually affect people, animal, plants and can have serious and dangerous effects. Some 30 years ago, scientists had already alerted the world about the outcome of global warming. To fight against it, you must reduce your carbon footprint. Your carbon footprint is the sum of all emissions of carbon dioxide which was caused by your activities. It is a very powerful tool to understand the impact of your personal behavior on global warming. You will be surprised to know how much carbon dioxide your activities create. If you want to stop global warming, the calculation and constant monitoring of your personal carbon footprint is essential. Through small changes in your daily routine or your normal habits, you can set an example for everybody. As our electricity use increases, our electricity bills rise and in turn, fossil fueled power plants not only generate more electricity but also more pollution. Let us see what are the six golden rules of saving energy. Switch off all lights, fans, computers, televisions, air conditioners and all other electrical appliances when not in use. Instead of a regular bulb, use CFLs to save energy. CFL consumes only one third of the power as compared to a regular bulb. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency has introduced a power saving guide for electrical appliances. Use electrical appliances which have a minimum 3 star BEE rating level. Every time you increase the temperature of the air conditioner by 1 degree, you save almost 2.5% power. Unplug all devices from the plug point when not in use. This reduces consumption to zero. 
Reduce the use of electric heating and cooling appliances. These account for almost 50% of total the household energy consumption. Did you know that Tirupati temple now uses solar and wind energy? The temple has installed solar powered lights, solar cooking system, windmills and a water recycling station. And the street lamps on the Tirumala hill are solar powered as well. 80% of the observed increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide results from the burning of fossil fuels. So this year we will focus on saving fuel while continuing our efforts to save power. Here are the tips to save fuel. Use a lid on vessels when cooking food or better yet use a pressure cooker. Keep ingredients washed, chopped and ready before starting to cook. Use public transport to reduce your individual share of fuel consumption. If you can't use public transport, opt for a carpool with people going in the same direction. Switch off the vehicle's engine when waiting at signals to save up to 10% fuel. If you need to travel a short distance, walk or cycle instead of taking a vehicle. These small steps go a long way in saving valuable fuel for future needs. Be an energy champion by taking the oath to save fuel and power by practicing energy conservation at home and school. Spread the message of energy conservation among friends, neighbors and relatives. Record and share the effective practices adopted and results achieved within the immediate circle. Bring down the power and fuel usage in your home and show it by recording electricity bills and the carbon calculator. Save water. Use water wisely. Reduce, reuse and recycle whenever you can. Introduce www.clubenergy.com at every point of your contact.